Are you using Zoom meeting and looking to host an event that uses multiple sessions at the same time in Zoom? Well, I actually got this question from a subscriber, hi, and I sent them my response and as I was typing out my answer, I realized I should just do a video because I feel like more than one person might have this question about what's the most efficient way to host multiple concurrent sessions utilizing Zoom. So before I get into it, I'm Logan Clements. I'm a freelance event producer based in Seattle, Washington, but I execute events here and all over the world. I do wanna remind you to like, subscribe, turn on that little notification bell so you get notified every single Monday when I drop new videos. I'm also the co-host of the Better Events Podcast with fellow event pro Mary Davidson. We dive even more into the event topics that I talk about here on YouTube, but come at it more from an event management, event planning perspective. Most recently, we interviewed a social sec secretary from the White House, so you can hear about what it's like to host events at the White House. We also talk about what to charge at events, how to be a stage manager, and much, much more. So listen wherever you listen to podcasts. I love answering questions that you submit, so please feel free to leave them in the comments here or on any of my videos. I do go back and reread them to make sure that I'm answering your questions, but let's get into this question from our subscriber was, what needs to be done to my existing Zoom account to ensure we can host seven virtual event rooms? Now, this is a great question because there's multiple ways to attack it. So one of the rubs that Zoom has is if you are someone who has a free account or even a pro account, which is the one that I have been using for the last five years, is I can only host one meeting at a time. So there's the old way that I would have done this a couple years ago would be that I would just buy, uh, I had an event where we needed to host three concurrent sessions at the same time, add two more Zoom accounts. I bought two more Zoom accounts that were associated with two other email addresses is the mean part. You can't have more than one with the same email. And I had teammates that were helping me out and I had them log into the other Zooms. So we then were able to host up to three concurrent sessions having three separate Zoom accounts. Now that was different links for each session, all of that kind of stuff. Now Zoom about, I can't remember now, I think two or three years ago came out with Zoom events, which is their virtual event platform. And I have hosted probably one or two events in Zoom events a year, so it's not necessarily taken off with my clients, but it is an option. And the way that I talk about Zoom events, well, at the core, Zoom events allows you with a single Zoom account to host concurrent sessions. And that could solve this subscriber's problem of wanting to host seven events, seven concurrent sessions at once. Zoom events would allow them to do that with their single Zoom account. Now you do have to pay for the Zoom events upgrade, which depending on the size of your event can be nominal. Like it was, I think it's 100 in the $150 range if you're doing an event for 100 people, um, or and that's just doing it for a month. Or you could pay per attendee, and that's where that cost will probably start to double and, and increase. But the cool part is Zoom events does allow you with that one account to host multiple concurrent sessions and I always describe it as the frame and Zoom meeting and Zoom webinar are the pictures inside the frame. So it gives you access to both Zoom meeting and Zoom webinar. And then it also gives you this beautiful frame and a dashboard. So it's really easy for your attendees to actually hop between sessions, which if you go back to my old version, which was my second piece of advice for the subscriber, if they don't wanna do Zoom events, is to just purchase seven different Zoom accounts. Hard part is then you just have a bunch of Zoom links. So unless you're building your own event website or something where those links can live, it can be a little hard for your attendees to hop between sessions very easily. Our expectations for platforms have gone up in the last couple years. Uh, when we were doing it with the three accounts, um, the sessions were more like three different tracks. And so our attendees weren't necessarily trying to jump from one Zoom room to another. They were once they were in the Zoom, that they were in the right place for the rest of the day. So it was just to be able to do three things at once. So Zoom events is built better if you're looking to do multiple sessions at once, but allow people to pick and choose and jump between sessions. Doing the individual purchasing of accounts, which right now a pro account, again, I think runs about $15 to $13 a month. So you can see why back then I was able to just say, let's just buy two more accounts. That's you know $30 and I get all of that functionality. 
Now with that DIY method, I do wanna highlight you don't get access to Zoom webinar. That would be an added cost for each of those accounts to be able to host the Zoom webinar like software. But a lot of things you can do in Zoom meeting um, or Zoom, uh, Zoom events, you automatically get both of those features. You get to use a webinar, you get to use a Zoom meeting as long as it is linked to your Zoom event. So hopefully that helps answer your question about how you can host multiple events in Zoom. I'd love to hear from you if you have a different method that you've used. I feel like my only other pro tip would be if you are doing really short breakouts, you can honestly do this all in one Zoom meeting. Hard part is you would really have to use your breakout room fu function to like let people know where the right room is to go. And it would be very hard for attendees to jump between sessions. It can be done if you really wanted to, but I think if I were you, I would pick, if you have the budget, Zoom events, because it's just a turnkey solution. If you don't have the budget, and you need to get a little more creative, go with buying all the individual accounts for each of the concurrent sessions you want. And if you're just someone who wants a challenge, you could try to do it all in uh, one Zoom events, Zoom meeting session, but I don't recommend it. Hopefully you learned something new about how to uh, use Zoom here. I'm Logan Clements. I'm a freelance event producer based in Seattle, Washington, but I execute events all over the world. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.